So I know what you guys are gonna say. Billy, I want my video edits to look cooler. I know, I know, trust me. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna teach you an effect that you'll most definitely use if you shoot your own video. It's called motion blur ramping. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. So if you've made a fast forward speed ramp before, then you know it can look pretty cool. But one of the biggest problems with it is the fact that it doesn't actually have much motion blur in it. So it can actually end up looking more like a soap opera than like an epic kind of whoosh kind of thing. If you didn't know, that's 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 what blur sounds like. Whoosh. So it almost has that kind of soap opera feel, mainly in the sense that there isn't any motion blur. Just check it out without motion blur. Now let's add the motion blur ramp effect and just see what it looks like. So you can see that it really adds that extra oomph into your videos and honestly like it's in the small details that really make videos awesome. And honestly one of the coolest things about this effect is that it can be done within a minute. But unfortunately if you don't have the free version you can't actually do this effect because you don't have access to motion blur so I'm sorry. But trust me stick around because this is one of those effects that can literally be translated into Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, all of the other pros and DaVinci Resolve. So let's just get into it. So if you guys want to follow along, I'll put a link down below that brings you to a page where you can download not only the footage, but also some sound effects that I've used in the past that really help bring this effect to life. So now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, you can just go ahead and drag down your clip onto the timeline, cut it down, do all that good stuff, then right click on it and go to Retime Controls. Now we want to find the point in this clip where we want this motion blur ramping effect to start. So I want this effect to start right here on the left side of him. Now now just hit this drop down arrow and select add speed point and you can see this just adds a speed point right here on your clip now move to the place where you want this effect to end so for this clip i want the effect to end on the right side of him now once again hit the drop down arrow and click add speed point so now we have the beginning and the end of the effect what you want to do now is grab this top tab right here on the speed point and then drag it to the left towards the other speed point. That's just gonna increase the overall speed of that section. So we wanna speed this middle section up to about 450%. And you can make it faster depending on the look that you're going for, but for me personally, I always like like 450 to 500%. Next, we're gonna zoom in and right click on the clip and then select Retime Curve. And now you can see that the keyframe viewer is gonna pop up. So just reposition it so you can actually see what's going on. Then click the drop down arrow right here and turn off Retime Frame and then turn on Retime Speed. So now you can see the keyframes of the speed points that we added earlier. And you can see they ain't curvy like we want them. They flat as heck. So to fix that, click on your keyframe and hit this smooth button right here at the top and then do this again for the other one. Now you can use the handles to adjust the curves of your keyframe and really smooth it out so you can get that nice speed ramp. Once you get your speed ramp all smooth and stuff, close out your retime curves and now jump into the effects library up here at the top left and hit this button right here and it'll show you all the different categories you have to choose from. Go down to the open FX and add directional blur to the clip. Just grab it and drag it onto the clip. So now go over to the inspector tab and you're going to see this open FX tab pop up. Click on that. The first thing I always do with directional blur is to make sure that the blur is actually going the right way because if your clips moving right, but your blur is going up and down, it will not make sense and you're gonna look stupid. So to make sure it's going in the right direction, I always grab the blur strength and just jack it all the way up. So now we can see what direction it's actually going in. Now you can just go down to the blur angle and choose the direction that you want it to actually go. Or I mean, you can just memorize it all, but I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna bring mine up to 180 degrees. Now we wanna remove the black border around the edges because it does not look that good. So go down to the border type and change it from black to replicate. So once we've done all of that, we can bring the blur strength down to zero. And with your playhead on the first speed point right here, move back four frames using your left arrow key. Then add your first keyframe under blur strength by hitting this diamond button right here and make sure your blur strength is set to zero for this first keyframe. Then move to the point where you want that blur to peak at. So for this clip, it's when I'm directly behind my friend Elias. Now bring the blur strength up to about 700%. And also by doing that, it's gonna automatically 
at a keyframe. Now put your playhead on the last speed point and move over four to five frames to the right using your arrow key. Then bring the blur strength back down to zero. So let's see what we got. So there you have it, the motion blur wrapping effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share with your friends so that they can also add this motion blur effect to their videos too. And if you want more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. You guys have no clue how much that actually helps. Also, what kind of camera setup do you have? Let me know in the comments below. I personally have a GH5S with a 12 to 35 2.8 lens on it and also an Atomos Shinobi monitor. So if you guys are interested in any of that, check it out. It's all in the links in the description below. So anyway, as usual, the video on the top is a video all about getting slow motion footage in DaVinci Resolve with only 60 frames per second footage. And the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.